What's up guys, it is Starflord here and I'm bringing you another mage build for all you night enchanters out there. And what this is, is the unkillable mage build. Now this resolves around one in winter, nearly all of night enchanter tree and uh, literally all of the spirit tree. Sorry, it does say that it has this annoying text Please just ignore it, it's because I am playing Vivian and I needed to kill the Inquisitor to, sh to solo a rift to show you the capability and survivability of a mage. Now, Night Enchantress will know the survivability, but this is really a true survivability build that you will never die in. So, first off, we're going to start with the Winter, is the Fade Step, which is costs no mana whatsoever, duration of 2 seconds, and has a cooldown of 12 seconds. What it lets you do is travel a short distance now they, sh they say a short distance but to be honest it's quite a big distance you can get really quite far with this in and out of combat and while you're in it you're also invisible so whilst you're in the fade step you don't actually take any damage which is great uh, so it's good for survivability and also the, um, for getting on to the enemies to attack them will also improve survivability as shown in the Night Enchanter. So we're going to go into the Night Enchanter skill tree second uh, and we're starting off with the Spirit Blade which does more damage, a lot more damage against guard and 400% weapon damage so really it's just a hell of a lot of damage especially against barrier guards and what it is is 10 mana per attack while active now doing other uh, thing uh, taking other passives in the tree uh, will actually allow you to to basically just constantly use this without uh, any worries of your mana and this build doesn't require literally any mana at all but we make sure we always have mana from the 10 mana per attack which I'll show you in a bit how we get that but we are taking the defending blade now th what this does is make all the projectiles coming in just send them back uh, so this makes the mage very 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 defensive in the way that you basically can't get hit by any range so if you're focusing on one target don't worry about those archers or those nasty mages in the background because all of their projectiles will pretty much just get flown back at them now we're going to go down the left side first which is combat clarity which means for people within five, uh, well, like enemies within five meters, you regen 50% uh, faster, which is so great. So basically, when you're on them attacking the Spirit Blade, you have that 50 mana regen bonus. So that's another thing which allows you to basically mean you can constantly cast Spirit Blade. And then we're going down to Fade Shield, which is 30% of your damage will get converted in uh, well strengthen your barrier so as it says you draw back the energy released by your enemies in your attacks against them any successful attacks strengthens your barrier the more damage you do the more powerful your barrier grows which is absolutely amazing and this goes on to say what a barrier is and it's only vulnerable to dispel effects and don't worry if you're against anything with a dispel because by sure we can get a barrier straight up again now we'll go against uh, on the right side, which we're taking Fade Cloak. This is a great survivability and a damage spell. The survivability in it is the fact that you become uh, invulnerable and can pass through enemies unharmed, and you're also invisible, and it lasts two seconds. And it's only got a 12 second uh, cooldown with a really sh tiny cost of 20 mana. Now we go on to the Decloaking Blast, where if you rematerialize, inside an enemy they are blasted back with a massive force and this does a thousand weapon damage which is great so you can be invulnerable in, invulnerable invulnerable uh, and then be on the target and just open up with them open up on them with some big damage now vile riptos veiled riptos i'm not sure how to say that exactly but anyway you can pronounce it however the hell you want uh, <laughs> whenever you have a barrier active enemies who attack you will take damage in return so as this is a barrier build anyone that attacks you will just take 20 percent damage back uh, so they're just basically feeding themselves constantly and then we go on to the night protector now barrier does decay quite quickly and this is why this is so important and such an amazing passive your barrier decay reduction 
by 35%. So you will have your barrier much longer when you're not attacking, not gaining shields and stuff. Now, we, uh, I am only level 16, therefore I don't know how much more spells, but even so, I wouldn't really bother taking this disruption field because all it does is slows enemies. It, yeah, that's all it does. All it does is slow enemies. Um, and if and big ones are immune, and then status lock, it basically makes them go nowhere. Uh, and to be honest, I don't really need this. Most enemies will stand still anyway, um, and I don't find it very useful. I'd rather spend my points in the hole of the spirit build. Um, so we haven't got, been able to get all of the uh, little extras, but anyway, we want every single one in here. And if you're wondering why. It is because we want strength of the spirits and rejuvenation barrier. And if you're in a party, as we are the mage, there is bound to be someone that dies because odds are uh, you will want probably a rogue for high damage um, or a warrior or another mage for high damage. And if they don't have some survival build like this, odds are they're going to die, especially when you're going against higher level enemies or similar level enemies. So this is a great thing to have so that you can keep your, your party up um, so this is why we want everything is because we basically want strength of the spirits rejuvenation barrier which means we have to go through all of this but also the fact that revival is actually quite good um, and now we're gonna take barrier to start off which gives you this massive barrier of nearly 4,000 has an area effect so you can get it on uh, all of your teammates has a 24 second cooldown and costs 50 mana um, this is m amazing uh, to start off with the battle you can get it up so that you are uh, already got your barrier up if you get dispelled you can get it up as survivability you can get it up whenever you desperately need it and including the start of a fight that's when you should put it up and it just means you don't die at all now we're gonna go down the left first now peaceful aura means uh, enemies take it makes uh, your threat reduction 50% less when you damage them. Uh, now this is good because you're a mage and odds are you want the warrior to take all the damage. Um, but really it's so we can go down here to the rejuvenating barrier. So we'll go through dispel as well to get here. Now dispel can actually come in very useful. Although it doesn't feel like a very good spell or useful spell in some situations. There comes a time where it can actually be very good. Um, where you can dispel debuffs off you so if you're slowed uh, you can just quickly get it off you if one of your friends allies is uh, have a status effect you can get it off them and if an enemy is just like gone in some rage mode you can just completely wipe it off them and then from there uh, you can get the transmute magic uh, which basically increases your own damage spells damage and barrier generation for a brief duration which is what I would recommend getting definitely go for it try and get that if possible as soon as I hit 17 I know I'm getting that because it is great because it turns barrier not in, only into an okay spell it turns it into a great spell so from here we're going to go on to rejuvenating barrier and what it means is that when you have a barrier up you recover mana or stamina more quickly and this counts for everyone in the party so everyone who has a uh, barrier er, uh, ma barrier on they will recover more mana and stamina so you can put a barrier on everyone and then they will be much better um, because I know as my other mage my main mage which doesn't really have the most mana regen and things like this it helps massively especially on warriors as well now we're going to go down the right hand side so we're getting to guardian spirit a protective barrier that springs into place when you're uh, around you automatically when you're badly injured so this is just as soon as you're about to die boom barrier goes up straight away a hundred percent which is great so this is a good survivability build because if everything else fails which odds are it won't this is just here as the backup uh, so it is a very useful passive if they have some kind of arch demon or something that may possibly one hit you or a dragon that may possibly one hit you you'll just quickly get that barrier up to stop it now we're going on to mind blast next mind blast at first was mainly to get strength of spirits um, but after that I kind of really started enjoying it because what it does is sends them staggering back with an explosion of willpower that drives them back and makes you less likely to be targeted so if you are uh, if you do have a full party you can use it to uh, get people off you 
or if you've got a lot of enemies you can make them stagger so you can focus on one target a bit better uh, and it only costs 20 mana which is nothing i also forgot to say dispel only costs 35 mana so this is quite a low mana build but it means you can get everything very quickly and still get your mana straight back up to keep casting spirit blade but the good thing about uh, mind blast is the next one each enemy you strike with mind blast increases the protective barrier and in turn uh, as as you turn their pain into your power so you get more barrier even more barrier you're getting this kind of thing it's just barrier on top of barrier on top of barrier and top of unstoppable barrier basically this is the unkillable barrier mage um, and then we're going to strength of spirit so your barrier is now drawn the magic of the fade uh, to absorb more energy before depleting so your barrier has a 50% bonus so it's 50% better even more barrier this is tons of barrier <laughs> And then we're going on to the last one, Revival, which summons the spirit, uh, your ally. It pretty much sums itself up. It is a big cost, but with this build, you will get your mana back with things like Rejuvenating Barrier and uh, Combat Clarity. So as you can see, there is like Barrier, 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 Barrier everywhere. Barrier Decay Reduction, more Barrier, reju uh, take, giving them damage back, damage from the Barrier. Um, <laughs> barrier you get more damage um, well it takes it from your damage so when you deal damage you get barrier um, and then guess what you do more damage against barrier um, <laughs> as you can see it's all about the barrier uh, and sh I pr should probably put a word count in to see how many times I've actually said barrier but anyway you got also things like fade clothes to make you invisible uh, fade step to make you invisible and get away spirit to go crazy and uh, what I haven't tested is you could probably go down to I have no there it is chaotic when you cast a fire spell it consumes your barrier uh, this isn't too great um, but I don't know you guys can try it out but this is the build I would go for and obviously 17 get transmute magic definitely it's a big big win uh, and then enlightened defense might actually be good as well um, so how we're playing this this uh, type of build is that we will use uh, you can use fade cloak and fade step so then you can open up on them but I'd rather use fade cloak run around step on them and if you want to get away fade step or if you want to get in then fade cloak do that once you're on them you may want to mind blast if you don't have a big barrier and your barrier is down but otherwise just use your barrier straight up if you have something on you or on the enemy, try and use Dispel, but it's not your key priority. Your key priority is wanting to use Spirit Blade if there's lots of enemies, especially ranged ones, because it basically just means you don't die. Uh, and then obviously Fade Cloak to get away whenever it's up, and then Revival when an enemy's when your ally's down. But for now, we will be soloing the uh, Rift. It is only level 15 Rift, as I am level 16, so you could imagine it's pretty easy to solo but uh, you'll see how ridiculously easy it is to solo with the unkillable mage now I don't have the best gear so it may take me a while to kill all the mobs but if you did have lots of gear uh, you will be doing lots of damage due to the fact that you're doing 400% weapon damage there you're doing a thousand weapon damage there you're returning 20 there uh, and 30% of your damage gets given back uh, I didn't take the Oh, there we go. I didn't take Frost Step. I don't think it's that great. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, let's get uh, cracking on with combat to show you guys really this build and its destruction. So let's go in. I'm going to Fade Cloak straight away to make sure I can position myself. Let's go. Or did I pause it? I cannot remember. All right, so we Fade Stepped. Open up. And as you can see here, it's only one mob on me right now, all these other mobs are away, so I'm basically just gaining my barrier from my spirit blade. And you can see my mana is just, like, it's perfect, there's nothing wrong with it at all. And I'm just completely owning this level 15 range demon, it's com so easy, basically just press 1. Um, now let's go on, there's 3 of them, and you should be able to see the projectiles bounce back off if they... Uh, there you go, one gets bounced off there. And you can see when they put their barriers up, we just deal insane damage. 
And if they do hit us, we're only taking a tiny bit of damage on our barrier. And so far, we haven't lost a single bit of health. So what we do here when I do this, I normally fade step onto a point and then just open up on them so they get some damage off straight away. Now they do have an annoying OP Despair Demon which does do a lot of damage but as you can see my barrier is not even, nothing's happening. I could use a barrier if I wanted, Mind Blast to stagger this guy and then I can dispel but it's not really worth it. So I got stunned, but my barrier is up. My dis just ridiculous barrier that takes 50% reduced damage. And which means even when you're stunned and things, you don't die. Now we're going to fade step to try and get as close to this enemy over here. And then fade cloak. And you can see I've just been running for quite a while there. Um, taking no damage whatsoever because of the barrier. And... This Despair Demon has a barrier up, which means I do more damage to him. And I was actually stepped on one of these, which does seem to normally do a lot of damage. However, in this case, it doesn't do much at all. And you see I'm quite low, but then when I use the barrier spell, it just shoots right back up. And I'm back to hitting them in the face. And they've used their barrier, but it just basically means I do even more damage, uh, which is quite good. It means you can get all those barriers and armors down as soon as you can. And again, even whilst being knocked down, I just take nothing whatsoever. No damage at all because of this barrier. And there you have it, there is the solo rift, pretty easy. At some point I might um, uh, upload another one at a higher level showing even harder mobs being killed. But that is basically it guys, it's the unkillable mage of Night Enchanter and Spirit mixed together. So I hope all you mages that are playing Night Enchanter like this survival build. Uh, I may be releasing a damage build, it depends what people want, if they ask, or what I'm feeling at the time. But for now, this is the ultimate mage survival build, the unkillable mage. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.